Shalom, Rabbi Mike here. Glad to see you. Um, I missed you, I think, um, for a week there, but I'm back, and um, it's good to see you all. And I hope that I can encourage you to be glad, thankful, and praise the Most High, Yahuwah. Um, this week's lesson for our reading um, at our synagogue, at our ministry, was the end of Genesis and, and Joseph, the story of Joseph. And um, the brothers of Joseph, after his father died, they wondered maybe he's going to be um, retaliatory or revengeful and remember all the bad that we did to him. Not so. Joseph already knew um, that it was Yah, Elohim, God, that sent him down in Egypt, not his brothers that sold him into slavery. Yah meant it for good to save the whole world. So that wasn't on Joseph's mind. Um, that wasn't his mindset, retaliation or revenge. But I think sometimes people who have the attitude put it on others because I'm revengeful, you are too. Because I'm prejudiced, you must be too. Because I'm kind of hateful, are you? You know, it's that person's attitude that we put on others, and that's not the case at all. Um, Joseph saw Yah's hand in everything. So, of course, there was no grudge, no retaliation or revenge, but he provided for his brothers and their families in Egypt, like he did the rest of the world. Um, people of today, my wife and I were talking about this, Ruth and I were talking that Sometimes people are just out to maybe get over on somebody or, or make sure nobody gets over on them. That mentality, it's not, very, it's not very helpful. We have to be kind. We have to be loving. We have to be forgiving like our Father in Heaven is. He's the one that forgives us. He's the one that loves us and is kind to us. So as He does to us, we've got to do to one another. And that, that's the little lesson of today. Let's be kind like our Father, and great in forgiveness. And this prayer uh, we read three times a day, and it's about forgiveness. And it goes like this. It says, Forgive us, our Father, for we have erred. Pardon us, our Sovereign, for we have willfully sinned. For you are the for good and forgiving Elohim, good and forgiving God. Blessed are you, Yahuwah, the gracious one, who pardons abundantly. He is one, only one Elohim, only one God, that's Yahuwah. And he pardons abundantly. He's all we need. Um, so I thank Yah. I'm going to uh, take just a minute to say something light, uh, a joke or two, and then I want to end with a scripture verse. Uh, first one, I've got a friend who, um, who turns 66 today, Jimmy Schneider up in Madison, Wisconsin. Hey, Schneider's happy birthday. But a couple months ago when I turned 66, uh, my, my son uh, Ben asked me, oh, Dad, how are you doing today? I said, I'm 6'6". Six, six. He said, Dad, you're not that tall. I said I wasn't talking six feet, six inches. I'm 66 years old. Remember, it's age before height. You ever heard that saying? He said, no. Well, I said, good, because I just made it up. <laughs> but anyway, um, that's original. Um, and the second joke is crispy. Maybe it'll be better. Knock, knock. Who's there? Uh, and I say, what and where and? And the response is, what and where and who? And I said, you're asking too many questions. I'm out of here. Anyway, that's the crispy joke. The first one was original. But anyway, um, that's the end of our joke time. And then I want to end with the scripture because Yah is the greatest. We need to laugh and love and live like we depend on him because we should, we do. And when we do, and when we should, everything falls into place. This is from Lamentations. 22 and a little bit of 23 of chapter 3. 
My soul remembers well and does make me happy. Yet this I bear in mind, therefore I still hope. Yahweh's kindness surely has not ended, nor are his mercies exhausted. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Yahweh is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I, will, I have hope in him. Yahweh is good to those who trust in him, to the soul that seeks him. It is good to hope silently for Yahuwah's salvation. He's the greatest. And I thank him for everything. I thank him for you all. And I ask him to bless you all. Today, tomorrow, and forever. Hallelujah. We'll see you again. Shalom for now. Bye-bye.